hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ashley ray today we're gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine look this is the look and if you want to see how to do this look make sure you carry on watching this video I bought a couple of new makeup and I like some of them are viral and some of them like people say it's so good so I'm going to be testing them out and also do my everyday makeup routine um so yeah that's what's going to be happening I also got blemishes and like spots and I wouldn't say acne but it's, it's looking like it at the moment I'm going to start with this e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer I nearly couldn't say it then apparently this is really good and i have tried it so i'm not gonna act like i haven't tried it um it just minimizes your pores your makeup looks smooth basically the redness is already gone from my face which is great so i would rate this product product like a solid a out of 10 like i think you have big pores you should definitely use this from elf because it really really helps period we're gonna go in with our la pro concealer high definition concealer um you can get this from the beauty shop this is quite good it gives me a pretty good coverage and as you can see like i'm just placing it on the bits where you need that coverage so i need it all over here and i take my beauty blender which looks a bit disgusting and i'm gonna blend it out I put quite a lot there. You don't need to put that much. Just blend it out. See, that looks better already. Guys, I was going to tell you a time where I got jumped as a story time, but I really want to like probably write it down a bit because you know, like everything's kind of a blur because it happened like years ago. So it was kind of bad. I mean, I didn't get beat up, you know, and it was like four people on me. So. So I might just do a video for you guys, but I don't know when. If you really want that video of me getting jumped, story time, just comment down below. Estee Lador, Lada, I don't know how to say the name. I'm sorry for the beauty people out there. It's double wear, stay in place makeup. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. I got this in the shade 4W3 Henna and I was gonna get it in the 4W4 but she said it was too orange for me. But people been saying so many good things about this, how it's like, it's a tiny bottle but it lasts a long time, like a little goes a long way. But I also saw negative reviews about how it doesn't come with a pump and you have to buy the pump separately. And I totally agree, like, why is there no pump with it? But also you can just, you know, put it on your brush or your hand and then wipe it off or put it on your face. So, like, it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. Put some in the back of my hands. Ooh, like this much. I got this brush from Primark. Primark has some good brushes, if you guys didn't know. It's a duo blending brush. This one's for foundation. And then this one is for concealer. But we're going to take some. And we're gonna swatch it on our face, okay? I mean, guys, do you think it looks quite good? I think it matches my skin color pretty well. Wait, I'm gonna, what? Can you see the difference? This side's a bit more glowy. And this side's just like, meh. But this side, Hannah's pregnant and I'm happy for her. Like, I'm so happy after the Chris Brown situation. She found, uh, she finally found. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. She finally found ASAP Rocky and now they're having a whole kid together, which is like, wow. Congratulations, girl. Still see the spots, you know, like the texture, the spots, but it is covered. It is covered, so that's a good thing. And also, it's kind of orange in person. And I think it's because I used the Pro Concealer. Because the Pro Concealer was quite orange -ish. And then over it, it was kind of like, you know. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this foundation. I would give it like an 8 out of 
8 out of 10. But is it worth £35? That is the big question. And also, when I first uh, got this foundation, I ordered it offline. And I realised it was too light. Not that I tried it. It was too light for me. So I went into the store, in the boot store. And the woman was being really rude to me. She's like, um, I don't know anything about online stuff. You're going to have to exchange it online and blah 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 which usually never happens to me because even though it's online like you can still go to the store and exchange it but she's like oh we're not connected to the store i mean online the store is not connected to online and i was like what are you talking about like you don't have to do online stuff but you're working i mean fair enough because she's working in a shop but like i feel like people should educate themselves more on online stuff because it's the 21st century everyone's using online all of that stuff so yeah she was really rude she, do you want to buy some now and i'm thinking i'm not rich i'm really not rich like i literally spent my good good money on a 35 pound foundation i'm not gonna buy another one it just doesn't add up i'd rather swap it like do you want to buy another one we have 10 percent off and i was thinking like no i don't want to buy another one I nearly was going to though because I just wanted the foundation for this video and I was like no like I'll be wasting my money after I just spent £35 on the other bottle and I'm not even going to be using it so yeah I was like that but she was really rude and then like I just left the shop basically because like I'm not dealing with that type of customer service and I'm on about the one in Birmingham the big boot outside like she was proper rude anyways i'm going i'm contouring down the lines of my nose and then i'm going to go more down i can't really explain it i'm gonna go down like this and i'm gonna go around at the bottom and then i'm gonna put a little bit at the top here just like that it gives you an illusion of a snatch nose and we want that I'm gonna be taking this brush. I don't even know what type of brush this is, but I think this is from Primark 2. But I'm not sure, it's like this. And I usually just, you know, brush it upwards. See, it's not blending like that, so I'm gonna use another brush. This brush is really, really old. Revolution. This is how old it is. And I'm just gonna Brush upwards, you want to brush upwards, not downwards, because obviously you want your cheekbone to be highlighted. Um, and then I go on the forehead, contour, contour. I just love contouring because it pulls everything together, literally. I'm going to go in with the other brush that I showed you before. And I'm going to do my nose because it's easier. In the bottom. Don't understand how you use it, like how it comes out, like I don't understand. Do you twist it? Okay, I kind of looked up a quick video of how to do this, so you twist it and then, okay, so it kind of works. I know it looks really light and crazy, but trust me, this is for highlighting, it's going to bring out your under eye baggage. So I'm gonna just do that. Ooh, and I know some people go up here and I also put some on my chin a little bit and a little bit on my nose. And some on my forehead right here. This is my first time trying this concealer. I know it's been a, uh, around for a while, but I haven't really had the chance to try it out because I try out other ones. Like the pro concealer but in a lighter shade i usually do that and you're probably wondering why why did she do contour first and then conceal because it's gonna like rub off the whole thing but it's not and to be honest my face does look quite lifted I'm just gonna do this my forehead uh, this was such a thing back then i don't know if it's still a thing anymore i'm gonna use my other beauty blender sponge because this one's harder i just use it to put on the powder because why not it's a contour 
paste everywhere even on the chin and a bit on the forehead not too much on the forehead though because you don't want to look powdery okay so next up we're going to do my eyebrows because these babies are not staying like that i'm gonna take my my nyx micro brow pencil i used to have morphe but it ran out uh that one was all right but this one you know like i think it's less money and it does the same thing so you don't need to pay loads of money for eyebrow you know thing brush and i'm gonna brush on my eyebrows i did cut them a few days ago just to make them you know stand out more like this brush up at the front in strokes micro bladed type of look so i just do strokes going up my eyebrows I made a, a mistake under here, but we're gonna clean up anyways. Then after I do that with the pencil, I go in with eyebrow gel, you know the thing, sticky thing that sticks your eyebrows up. I got this one from e.l.f. This brow, wow brow. And I did try it before. I don't know if I saw a difference, but this is in the shade brunette. And it's quite light for a brunette. So if you have dark eyebrows like me, go down in the shade because this is too light. It looks like this. It's a cute little pen thing. Take it out. See what I mean by, by too light? Look at that. That is that is not my eyebrow shade. But I'm gonna, oof, that's a lot. Do you see that? <laughs> I don't know if I like it, but mm, I'm not sure until, you know, it sets. I'm going to go in with the duo Ahensive, Ahensive, Ahens, I can't say the word, but this stuff, it's black and it's meant for you sticking on your lashes, but I don't use that to stick on my lashes because one time I used it to stick on my lashes down and I was trying to take them off and it was such a pain to take off, let me tell you, because even if you wash them off and everything, you still have that sticky feeling on your lid. Take a little bit on the end of this, and then I'm just gonna brush up quite lightly. I just had to quickly go for this, but I'm gonna use this brush flat on this side, and then there's a slanted side. I used to use this for eyebrow pomade, but obviously I don't use pomade anymore because it's too dark, basically, and I'm out of breath. Gonna do the next side. Make sure you blend out your eyebrows because when you take flash pictures, your eyebrows will literally stand out if you don't blend them in. When you just blend it here, it's gonna show in the pictures. It's literally gonna show. So I suggest you really blend it out into the middle, everywhere basically. This big ass brush that I've used for years and years. And I'm gonna brush out my powder, which means sitting in there for too long. I just go everywhere with it, to be honest. Just, you know, make sure you blend it out properly. So is by Revolution, Makeup Revolution. And I'm going to blend it out. See how like pigmented that is? So if you don't want that much bronzer, go very light on dipping it. The key to makeup is to just blend. Literally, just blend. <sighs> so good. I'm gonna go in a bit rich. I'm gonna put this on my eyelid. Look how pigmented that is. I'm gonna blend it out. And I'm just gonna use the orangish one here and just like put it in the middle of my eyelid. Because I'm quite orange toned, so obviously it's gonna like blend out. I have these lashes that I bought. Box. Box Minks Wispies from Ardell. I saw, I think James Charles, he was putting on some lashes like these. I do sell lashes as well, so like I understand the pain of like spending so much money on lashes. 
with my lashes you don't need to pay that much babes it's just shipping is a bitch these are the lashes they're quite cute i'm not even gonna lie hair bonding glue from the makeup shop i mean from the hair shop put some glue on here and i'm gonna wave it around a little bit i'm quite good at putting on lashes i can't like to you guys like i'm a strip queen like this see that you could put it more at the edge these are cute these are the difference you guys are still here watching like i love you guys so I'm gonna mix these two together. First of all, I'm gonna go in with the more reddish one because, you know, I've used it before and it's so good. This is like so good. I'm not even joking, guys. It's so good. And I'm gonna just put it by my cheeks. You can smile as well. And I also put some on my nose just to blend it in. It just makes a lot of difference. And I'm gonna put over the nose, a little bit on the forehead. I just freaking love it. Like, ooh. So for my lips, I use NYX eyeliner pencils because they're just, you know, like they're the best thing. And they're affordable, not like MAC lipsticks where people be buying it for like, what, 20 something pounds? Sorry, what? Yeah, four lips with our lip injections. I'm gonna show you guys. So we start from the bottom here. I'm gonna go down. If you have smaller lips, because this is where my liner meets. If you have smaller lips, just overline it a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Wait, I don't know if this is the color that I had. So I found the lip pencil, because this is not the right one. I'm thinking like it's too dark. It's literally too dark. See how light it is? I love this one. Gonna go back. So you see how chocolatey and nice that looks? And sometimes I do this. Okay, so I always use this one. It's called London. See how nice and neutral that looks and i know my lips look a bit ill but look at that like london is so pretty and i always go over the brown lip liner with this just a little bit i'm gonna go with a lip gloss from body collection lip plumping clear lip gloss and it kind of tingles a little bit it looks like this and i just put a little bit you don't want to put too much because i still like it to look matte but like you still need a bit of moisturizing lips moisturized lips so everyone that i saw in videos used this highlighted by makeup obsession live love london see that glow put it on your cheek your eyebrow bone we can't forget about the nose so you're gonna put some on the nose and the powder and i'm just gonna take some and go over the bottom of my bronzer and clean that up a bit more i'm gonna let this set for a bit i'm gonna change the eyelashes guys pause i filmed this like earlier on in the video and then i placed it in this bit so sorry these are my lashes guys these are so cute they're all pink and like girly and like i just love it if you don't like pink i don't know what to tell you hello um, yeah, I'll be right there, Tanisha. I'll be right there. And um, don't let this one fool you because it's in white packaging and it makes it stand out more. I'm gonna try these fluffy ones. So I'm gonna rip these off. They are Dell. And these have a black band and they are reusable, guys. I have nothing to say. Look at this these ones 
I just look like a completely different person. I'm sorry guys if I'm a catfish. Shaft the powder. Don't leave it for too long like I did. You just need a little bit of time. But professional super setter. It came, it came in this box. It cost me like, I think 12 pounds. This is the mini one. The bigger one is like 20 something pounds and that's just a lot of money. But a lot of people have been talking about this and I really wanted to try it. So we're gonna just spray, well shake first. Oh my god, it feels so good. It feels so nice. So nice. If you put highlighter and then put setting spray over it, you get more of a glowy effect. So definitely try that out. This is my makeup look, guys. You still see texture, but it's okay. It's okay if you have texture. It's not the end of the world. You still look gorgeous regardless. Uh, literally, this is my everyday makeup routine. And if not, I would take the lipstick off and just leave it as that if i want to be more natural but this is it guys every single photo you see on my instagram since i don't know like may onwards this has been my makeup look this is behind the scenes <laughs> alexa start so this is what it looks like in the dark i just love the dark like don't you guys think you look you just look better in the dark but yeah, bye guys, and I love you all so, so much. Mwah.